so in this video, we're quickly going to go, go over um, doing a quick calibration. Um, this process is about as easy as it gets. So once you have the unit powered on, make sure that we have pressure. Um, all we do is we push and hold the middle button, which is the quick cal button. And you're going to see a state change. It's going to stay stroke cal in progress. And then it's going to go through staking the valve, finding the limits, should the valve have stops. If it doesn't, you may have to do what's called a cal jog, where you actually set them manually. But this process just takes a few seconds, and depending on the size of the valve and the volume being moved, it may take a little longer. But um, in general, you're seeing it move to the middle point, maintain a position, go full open, go full closed, and really just verify that those uh, set points are met in terms of the valve travel. And um, once we're done with this process, the valve will go back into normal operation, as you see now with the four greens. Um, and you'll see calibration succeeded. So in general, that's all there is to a calibration. Then we're free to stroke the valve as is. So let's just uh, power this thing back on and we'll bump it up to 20 milliamps. And it's already moving to full open. Even though it's loading, it still was able to move. So, you know, it maintains that. I'm giving it a 99.9, .9. it's giving me 99.3. Um, so as usual, those little indicators, you know, given us, so here at 12 milliamps, giving us roughly 50%, and it's very much close to 50% travel. And now down to four and tight shutoff. Um, so really that's all there is to doing a quick cal and uh, it's just that easy. So no communicator needed, no other tools, just push that button and hold it and wait for the positioner to do the rest.